State lawmakers facing mounting pressure to scale back a massive increase in education spending known as the blueprint for Maryland's future. As Project Baltimore's Chris Papps explains, the landmark legislation pumps billions of dollars into public education, but critics say it's crushing local budgets. We're struggling. We're struggling with Kerwin. Hartford County Executive Bob Castley is sounding the alarm. And he's not alone. The news isn't isn't good. I mean, I cannot deal with a forty million dollar increase in my education budget next year. At issue is the future of public education in Maryland and how it's funded. In 2021, lawmakers passed the blueprint for Maryland's future, also called the Kerwin Plan. The law pumps thirty billion additional tax dollars into public education statewide over the first ten years, and then four billion additional tax dollars every year after that. The plan, in part, increases teacher salaries, expands pre-K, and bolsters career and technology training. But when the bill was passed, the legislature did not pass a funding mechanism. In other words, Annapolis approved the largest education spending increase in state history without a way to pay for it. Now, county leaders like Cassidy are saying, Lawmakers must revisit the plan. There's got to be some some give and take. There's got to be a, a additional look at this thing, and people need to be a little more rational on how we how how we approach this. But uh, to to throw tax increases in now when the economy is struggling, families are struggling, is the wrong way to go for Maryland and for Harford County. Cassily is just one of several county executives who have concerns over how the blueprint is being implemented. Earlier this month, the Maryland Association of Counties, or MACO, wrote a letter to Governor Wes Moore, Senate President Bill Ferguson, and Speaker of the House Adrian Jones, asking that the blueprint be adjusted. The letter specifically asks for a more comprehensive cost analysis so counties know exactly how much they have to spend. MACO also asks for increased state aid to renovate and construct pre-K facilities. When it comes to teacher pay, the letter requests more time to develop educator career ladders, which MACO calls one of the most unpredictable costs. But these concerns over funding should not come as a surprise. Many predicted this would happen. There are being 95 votes in the affirmative. The blueprint was passed in 2021 when the COVID pandemic was crippling Maryland's economy. Republican Governor Larry Hogan and Democrats, including then Comptroller Peter Francho, warned the legislature not to pass it. It was a bad idea as far as timing, even though we all support education reform. Less than three years after lawmakers passed a blueprint, we're hearing concerns from all over the state, including from the mayor of Baltimore. It was a gut punch. The president of the Carroll County Board of Education. We're struggling. And state senators. Now, I've got counties uh, on the eastern shore that have said for the entire time since Kerwin has been passed that, that they cannot afford it. Whether lawmakers plan to address the financial burdens of Kerwin remain to be seen. But earlier this year, Senate President Bill Ferguson was asked if lawmakers are open to changing the funding formula. We're always back every year, and I think we're always open to make sure if the, if the facts and data are there, we will address it. I think I speak for all of our county executives in saying that that our people can't can't deal with the financial impact that the, the Kerwin as it stands is placed upon our taxpayers and our citizens. So we've got to make adjustments and I'm really hoping the General Assembly and make adjustments that are absolutely essential. I'm Chris Pabst. Thanks for watching. Here's another story to watch. Also, if you have a story idea, please send us a message.